Oh, hey, what's going on there? We're about to start another episode of Drunk Cooking with Scott. We've got to get our vodka to OJ ratio correct. And then we're going to make some fucking pizza rolls. Pizza rolls it is. Uh, if you ever grew up eating pizza rolls or you eat pizza rolls now, I still do. It's way easier to go to the store, buy a bag, heat them up in the microwave, and eat them than what we're about to do here. But I'm all about doing things the hard way. It's the only way I learn, as a matter of fact. So today we're gonna make homemade pizza rolls. Uh, you can choose what you put in them. Your, your options are limited in the store. But uh, we do it at home, make them how you want. What we're gonna start out with, get you a blender, a food processor, or something. I had uh, some canned peeled tomatoes. We're gonna add some of those. I don't wanna add too much because this is the sauce for the pizza roll. And uh, I've gotta add other things to it. We wanna make it kind of pasty so we don't, it, go go easy, go easy. Depends on how many you're gonna make. Well, let's see, I got a lot of other shit fit in this container. That's about right. We're gonna add a little onion powder in here. And we're gonna add a little uh, garlic powder. It's all by eye. I, I don't give measurements, you know how that is. All right. Baking's for measurements, cooking's for eye. Italian seasoning, generic, just a whole bunch of shit. They say it's Italian, put it in there. I have a little salt, a little pepper, of course. I also uh, have a little for, uh, oregano. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in. Get some pepper in here. And we're gonna blend this back up. Okay, get that blended up. Don't be afraid to also put a little uh, Parmesan cheese in here. So I'm gonna do that. Cheese it up a bit. That's gonna thicken it. Blend that in, and then I'm gonna go over here and grab my, my meat mixture. Okay, so this is what I've got with the cheese, the sauce, pizza sauce. I've also browned some ground sausage and beef. So I've cooked that up already. I'm gonna start adding some of that to the mixture. And we're also going to add some mozzarella cheese. Make sure you strain the grease off this shit. Greasy bastards. All right, so I add, I add some mozzarella cheese in with the meat and sauce mixture. Just gonna thicken it up a bit. We keep doing that until we get a nice pasty, pasty filling that we can just scoop in little globs and, and put inside the pizza roll. Taking our meat mixture, our filling, I put that in the refrigerator. We're gonna let that sit in there for uh, 15 minutes or so. Kind of let it chill, let it rest a little bit. While we're doing that, I'm gonna make wonton wrappers from scratch. How do you like that shit? I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna uh, fucking complain because I'm out of OJ. I'm also out of beer and I'm not ready to move on to whiskey yet. So, $3 Walmart wine it is. We'll get one of these. We're gonna start putting together some wonton wrappers. Right, so truth be told, I've never made the wonton wrappers before. So today, we're gonna do this together for the first time. I'm supposed to put one egg in here. I don't know why I'm doing it separate, but uh, whip up the egg a little bit. And then I have a third cup of water that I'm supposed to add to the egg. Gosh, looks like what's egg to me. Perfecto. What I got here now is two cups of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of salt mixed together. And I kind of made a little well down here in the middle. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and incorporate a little of the egg and water, not all of it, but part of it in there. 
start whipping it in. Stir it up real good. Keep adding from time to time as it's mixed until you incorporate the whole thing and start working it into a dough. There we go, there's that. We're going to keep stirring within this. If you need to add a touch more water, feel free to do so. Let's do it. Add more flour. Alright, once you get the dough, uh, dough like, I guess, you have to knead the shit out of it. I've been here for so long, my poor arms, I can barely get my drink into my mouth. Once you have it in a pasta like consistency where it's very smooth, you can knead the hell out of it, then we can roll it out. Okay, my advice to you. And you're going to roll these out. I've heard the best way to do it is like I roll it, roll it kind of like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut. Instead of rolling the whole thing out flat, we're going to cut, say, a piece. It's easy to work with it. Flatten that out by hand best we can. Then Get a little rolling pin over here. And what about a quarter inch thick? Maybe a little less. Slightly under a quarter of an inch. Whatever that is. And uh, you don't want it too thin, it'll bust when you when you're frying it. But on the other hand, you don't want it so thick that the insides and your, your filling isn't cooked. So you don't want this to get burnt on the outside and still have a cold filling on the inside. So Say about like that. Not quite translucent or anything, but uh, pretty good. Now, I'll go ahead and proceed to make more of these, but go back to our filling. And I'm going to make up an egg wash to put on the wontons. Right, I'm going to tell you straight up, that was a lot of fucking work. Fuck a wonton, okay? Now, I know how to make the pizza rolls. Problem is, I've never made the wonton wraps from scratch before you get them at the store. So, while there's a lot more to the store on why I didn't get it from the store, I improvised and stepped up, you know, the guy I am, I stepped up and I made the wonton wrappers, which came together fine, but assembly with homemade, a little difficult. I got nine derp ass uh, pizza rolls, we're going to put them in the freezer for about 40 minutes. I'm going to finish this wine and just massage my wrist with a carpal tunnel that's set in for making these things. And then we'll come back and we'll deep fry them. All right. So they're coming along nicely. I don't want to put more than one in at a time until it's almost done because you don't want the frozen food to cool down the oil temperature for the others. But they're coming along nicely. Probably get one more in on here. Always make sure it doesn't stick. Pick it up right away a couple times after you put it in there. This one's done. Got the grease off. Plate with a napkin, paper towel. Watch this one, keep it rolling. Finish the process, we're gonna come back to take. Boom. Right here, a little tomato sauce on the side, a little oregano, a little Parmesan ground cheese. These are our pizza rolls. I'm going to set it aside with some of the extra cut into it. Look at that. Cheese, meat. I'm going to dip it right here. Hallelujah. This is probably the most pain in the ass episode ever. These are fucking good. We did it. Don't cook them with Scott. Fuck a wine time, fuck a time, wine. Fuck it, I'm on one. After that episode, you're damn right. I'm ready for the whiskey fight. I killed the wine. Fuck the vodka and OJ. 
straight drinking. Let me tell you something about these pizza roll ups. So, I didn't know how to wrap them. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to make a pizza dough or buy something pre made. I saw a little video about wonton wrappers. Got to the store, they didn't have them. Uh, somebody told me the spring roll wrappers were the same thing. That was a bunch of bullshit, a big fucking problem. Then, uh, let's see. So, I finally decided last minute, going to make my own wonton. Uh, wonton wrappings never done that before came out good after kneading for fucking ever and i got the cramps in my hands and my arms hurt gimped up carpal tunnel finally get that done getting it to stick and not bust open that was a pain in the ass i finally get them in the freezer get them in the deep fire off camera fire breaks out <laughs> this is they were delicious we did it but I could have fucking dug to China and fucking met, ordered a fucking wonton faster. I could have made this episode. So I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully Silver Sam will get the editing magic. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Cheers. Drug Cooking with Scott.